Here, these are the five apps you need to download to get the most out of your Mac. Best part about this, all apps are absolutely free. For the first app, it's called Kichu, and it's one of the best apps you can download for any Mac. It doesn't matter if you have old Mac or a new Mac, and then it got one job to show all the shortcut you know for every single apps. To open up Kichu, there's a two way you can do it. So, by first one is by pressing command two time and then holding it but then for the second one by just holding the command and it's gonna show you all the shortcut in to know so let's say i open up spotify and then after that i just hold the command for a few seconds it's gonna show me all the shortcut i need to know for spotify in the left side so all the shortcut i need to know so so now let's say i open up a notion calendar and then hold the command it's gonna show me all the shortcut i need to know for notion calendar so so now, now let's say I open up a, a browser like a, a like a web browser, then hold the command. It's gonna show me all the shortcut I need to know for a uh, 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 web browser. How cool is that? But things that is not the best part about this app. If we just open up the app and then tap on my shortcut right here, then after that it just tap on a hotkey right here. So this is gonna be a shortcut and then tap on tap on it and click on record. And after that you can just put any shortcut you want. So let's say I need to do command shift and S. And then after that, it's gonna after that you're gonna tap on apply. And after that, it's gonna be like that. And for the hotkey right here, you can just the double tap on it. And over here, you can just rename it. So let's say I introduce like a screenshot, and then I just put it like that and click on enter. And after that, anytime, anytime I open up any app, that shortcut gonna show up right here, the screenshot right there. How cool is that? App number two is called Tembox, and this is the app that everyone need to download. So this is the point of this app. So anytime you went to any website or that they're asking for email, other than putting an actual email on this website, like let's say this one or like a, this one right here, you need to download this app because it's gonna make a, a fake email that you can have access to it. So all the uh, email you're gonna get from any of this website is gonna go out to that uh, app. And for the app name, it's called Tempbox. So after you open up the app for the first time, you're gonna tap a new address. After that, make sure you check this right here, generate a password. So with this, you're going to get an email and a password. For the name, you can do random. So if you tap on random, it's going to give you a random username. But things, if you want to have your own custom one, you can do that as well. Like something like that. And after that, you're going to tap on create. After that, you're going to see your email going to pop up right here. So with the email, it's it also going to show you the password as well. So now, if you see over here, active, so that it is actually working. If it's not active, it's not going to work. So now, we copy it. Okay, so if you just tap on that, it's gonna get copied, and after that, now you can go to go back to the website and click on Control V, and after that, you just click on Download or like you get, and after that, look at this, hey, that email is done. Over here is the same thing. Just click on Control V, and then Control V, a Command B, and after that, you can see it's gonna be done right here. So after that, if you open up the temp box again, and after that, just give it a few seconds. For, as you can see, still there's no uh, news, but if you just give it a few seconds, all the email is gonna is uh, sh showing up right here. So look at this after a few seconds the email show up right here and if you just tap on the email look at this this is the full email if there's any link i can just get the link there's a link right here if you just tap on it it's gonna open up that app number three is called app cleaner so anytime if you uninstall an app like you delete the app sometimes in that app it delete the app but things all the file the in the app is not deleted so that's the point of this app so if you just should you did the app by using this it's going to delete everything from that app all the files all the images everything in that app have access to it's gonna remove all of it so this is how it works so first thing you have to do you have to open up your finder then you're gonna tap on application and after that you're gonna uh, find the app right here so uh, with this you can do it with any app it doesn't matter so uh, let's say into the uh, like this up right here if you just drag it down then it's gonna look something like this so look at this it found three file one is the app there's a file and there's another file and you're gonna click on remove Boom, just like that, everything from that app is gone. How cool is that? So this is gonna uh, work with any app. You drag this down right here. Look, everything is gonna found right here. After that, you're gonna tap on remove, gone. Just like that. For app number four is called Mac, and this is a copyboard organizer. So uh, let's say you enter this website and then you copy it by pressing command and C. But things now you enter like another website and then you copy this right here by pressing on command and C. So next time you're gonna paste that, it's just gonna paste the latest one so the last thing you copy like before that like this one right here it's not gonna paste it's just gonna paste the latest one so sometimes it is annoying but things with the copy organizer like mac right here if you just tap on it 
it's going to show everything that I copied right here. And look at this. Everything I copied is going to show up right here. And over here, if you're going to copy this, I can just tap on it. And then uh, over here, now I can just open up like a new tab or something. And now, now I can paste this anywhere. Look at this. It's just going to paste that. How cool is that? So this app is make it. So with this app, make it, it make your life so much easier. For app number five, it's called a Rectangle. And it's one of the best split screen app you can download for absolutely free. So this is how it works. So I want to get this browser on the left side. I do command and left. And it's going to go to the left. So let's say I introduce Notion to the light, I do command and right, it's going to go to the right. As simple as that. A bad thing is if you open up the app, there's a lot of customization you can do. So that's the left hand, so that's the command left. And then over here, if you need to do top half or bottom half, you can just tap on it. But over here, and, and now we're just going to type in the shortcut. So now I just want to do like a command and one, and then it's going to be like that. So now I can just go, go back, then command and one, it's going to go like that. How cool is that? So that is the simple uh, purpose of this app to go between split skin, but with this, it make your life so much easier because all these are customizable. So that is for this video. And if you want to see 15 more apps, you need to download for a Mac. Make sure you click on that video right here and peace out.